Hello YouTube, B3 and Naughty Cat here. Back with another kicking comic book collection update. Yeah, we got some cool stuff for you guys today, including some cute little feet. Oh. But yeah, uh, so to the comics. We're gonna go to the comics after we look at this cute little baby. So uh, yeah, first up, we have a Marvel comic, The Unbelievable Gwynpool, issue 20. So, Gwyn ends up defeating her evil future self, and it's all really cool. Uh, she's like, the writers want you to be evil. Think about it. Every time you do something good, you know, some bad stuff happens. They want you to be bad. And your comic run goes so long if you're the bad guy, but it's, it might not stay that way if you don't play by their rules, etc. There are no real consequences. Blah, blah, blah. But, uh... Yeah, it was really cool, and Gwen decided she's going to be a hero from now on because she doesn't want to end up her evil self. So, uh, God, I really like this book. And then My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, number 58. This one wasn't too interesting. Um, they just have to find this flower that could be a cure for many diseases and enhance magic and all this stuff. So uh, it's not really a big deal. Art's good. The writing wasn't bad or anything. It was just not a very interesting story. Uh, and then we have The Amazing Spider-Man, number 32. It's almost a what if. So Harry Osborn is trying to get the Green Goblin back in his mind. There are these spider nanites that are blocking out his uh, goblin formula so he can't hear the goblin in his head. And he's tried everything, so he goes to this temple place and he touches this emerald and it shows him his incredible potential for magic, but then he decides instead of accepting the tiger totem like he's supposed to, he accepts the goblin totem and tries to kill Spider-Man and he does all this stuff. And he would have been successful, but it was all hallucination induced by the Emerald to see if he was worthy of the power, and he was not. So they kicked him out, but he realized that the Goblin is still there because, you know, all that Gucci. Uh, and yeah, so pretty interesting issue. Interesting, interesting issue. And then Rick and Morty Pocket Like You Stole It. This isn't the most interesting book. It really isn't. Uh, issue 1 was bad. Issue 2 was fine. This issue, it's about Pocket Jerry's. So the Morty stumbles upon his mom, and she's, like, training Pocket Jerry's, which is, like, illegal, even though Pocket Morty's isn't. But Jerry's classified as a fungus in that reality, so I don't know why it's illegal at all, but whatever. Uh, and then that Rick shows up and is going to get the Morty. But yeah, that's it for the single issues. Now onto this big ass stack of trades. Uh, we have Green Lanterns Volume Three. Picked this up at my k -k 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 comic shop, which is very cool. Local comic shop, you know. I always got to support the local stores. But uh, I haven't cracked into it yet because graphic novels, unlike the single issues, are reviewed on my main channel and they're much more in depth reviews. So uh, check them out on Godzilla and Gigan, our G&G channel, our toy channel. Very cool place. We also got action figure reviews and stuff like that there. Very cool. Very cool. But, um, yeah, so they're fighting Polaris, looks like. I think a Batman shows up for a little bit, too. You know, it should be cool. I actually really dig them as partners because neither of them seem like they should be worthy of it. He doesn't trust his ring. She's, I feel like if I was a Green Lantern, I'd be more like her. I mean, my anxiety is not as bad as hers is, but... You know. Still pretty cray. Pretty cool. And then I got this classic story. Batman the Black Mirror. This is the book that got Scott Snyder on the map, really. Uh, I just... I've always heard it's excellent, excellent, excellent. And I really, really cannot wait to read this book. It's supposed to be fantastic. So, yeah. Very excited to read that. And then, uh... That Batman Black Mirror was from... Uh, Barnes and Noble, by the way, and this silk I got off Amazon for cheap because I'd already read several of the issues in it. I have many, many of the single issues, but I had to stop reading it for monetary reasons. And uh, now I'm like, well, I I really did like reading Silk, so I've been picking up her trades. So I got Volume Zero, One, and Two now, and I've had Spider Women for a long time because I had to get it because I was reading Spider Gwen. But uh, yeah, so here we have Silk. Volume 1, Sinister. This is when she joins up with Black Cat, which is actually undercover for S.H.I.E.L.D. You know. Pretty neat. I actually really, really want to read this. Oh, I'm gonna read it. Can't wait. Very cool. Also from Amazon, I got Green Lantern, Volume 1, Sinestro. I'll probably be getting more New 52 Green Lantern stuff off of 
there, but I read this uh, when I was in college. My roommate was getting the single issues, and he let me read them. But I really wanted my own copy because it was good. Uh, Hal Jordan, Green Lantern, is my favorite superhero, and uh, I had to finish off my Jeff Johns Green Lantern stuff. And Duck Mankey is a good artist, too. I like Duck Mankey. But, uh, yeah, so I can't wait to reread this book. It has been years, <laughs> so lots of it should feel pretty fresh. And then we have Green Lantern Volume 5, Test of Wills. Got this from the comic shop as well. Uh, he always gives me discounts on the trades, too, which is good. But, uh, yeah, I haven't read this one. I only read up, up through a few issues into Volume 4, so I haven't read Volume 4 and 5 in entirety yet. I haven't read any of Volume 5, but uh, I can't wait. Once again, Hal Jordan, my boy of boys. Really cool. So, uh, I haven't even taken the cover off this. I don't even know what it looks like in there. And then this one I didn't expect to stumble on. Blackest Night, Tales of the Core. It was also at the comic shop. Um, got the hardcover. So now I only need two more books, and then I'll have all of Blackest Night, all the tie-ins and everything. I just need Tales from the Black Lantern Core, of volumes one and two. And then I'll have all of it. Very awesome. But, um... Yeah, so quick recap. Blackest Night, Tales of the Core. We also have Green Lantern Volume 5, Test of Wills from the New 52. Green Lantern Volume 1, Sinestro from the New 52. We have Silk Volume 1, which would be uh, the post-Secret Wars Silk, Sinister. We have Batman the Black Mirror, which is actually Detective Comics books, but, you know, you do what you gotta do. Very cool, classic book. We have Green Lanterns Volume 3 Polarity from DC Universe Rebirth. Also in the single issues department, we have Rick and Morty Pocket Like You Stole It, number 3. The Amazing Spider-Man at number 32. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, number 58. And The Unbelievable Gwynpool, number 20. So that is it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And all those trades, once again, will be reviewed on my Godzilla and Gigan channel. So go check it out. Got lots of cool stuff over there as well. We have several channels, so I highly recommend you check them all out. Of course I would. You know, they're my channels, but... <laughs> That's it. Thank you all very much for your support, and I'll see you all later.